from box 2, bag 5. Installing the servo mounts. Now make note that all the screws go in from the underside. So your boom will be like this when you're doing your screwing. Now, now uh, this is an area where we're putting uh, machine screws or self-tapping screws into plastic. So this is an area where I use my Elmer's glue instead of the CA glue. Um, just for my own use that way when uh, um, I go to do maintenance. I can uh, remove it or you know for moving it around. Alright now make note also you see how I'm putting it on the flange with the screw area goes up to the top here and uh, you know so the arm is closer to the top of the boom than the bottom. Slip that on. Now, while I'm doing this, I would like to say I would like to make an amendment uh, to the earlier parts of the videos. Um, it was brought to my attention, guys. Uh, were thinking that uh, I should really make a point that when you do screws metal to metal. Make sure you use the alcohol wipes. I was doing it off camera, but make sure you use the alcohol wipes or, uh, you know, uh, the rubbing alcohol um, and clean your threads up real good. I like using this right here. Um, they're in baby wipe form. They're quick, they're easy, uh, and uh, they're cheap. <laughs> okay, now we're going to start out. We're gonna make we're gonna kind of slide down a little bit to make it a little easier. There's a reference of 61 millimeters from the end of the boom, 61 61 millimeters from the end of the boom to the uh, outside edge of the uh, first one. So depending on your servo size, you know that'll vary, but okay. So we're gonna slide out. And I'll just kind of catch this with a screw. This is a reference point as far as for balance and everything else. Okay. And they are 1.5 millimeter. Make sure you put your washer on. Well, actually, in all reality, I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue this first one. Put glue on my threads for this first one. Yeah. I'll double check it once I get it started in there before I really before I tighten it. Now again, this is an area where you do not need to really torque them down. Use the back side of my. Just in case I drip. Yeah, I'll just put a dab on there. There. Now this is just like with your Loctite, you know, it don't take a real lot. Now these I'm not cleaning the alcohol off them obviously because it's you know going into plastic and I've never had an issue ah, it help if I use the correct ones you have long ones and short ones and uh, the longer ones are for the the long ones are for going on, on to the mount.
going to go check my alignment. My caliper went out, but I had it locked. Two. All right, here we're okay. We got them on. My caliper is locked at sixty one millimeters. That's good. This is where I like to use the Elmer's glue instead of the, the CA. We're at 61. Now what I kind of like to do, I'll get this screw started. What I like to do is uh, get this one started and then move it over and tighten it up once I uh, mount the servo to it. That way I don't have to try to wrench it back and forth. Alright, now your servo mounts on here. In this fashion. You have multiple holes you can use. You got the center one, you got the two outside, so... Okay. I'm going to go with the two middle ones. I don't make it snug, just stuff to hold it. All right, now I'll slide the back one forward. And I'll catch this one. And I'll do the one the one on the boom. Again, you know, it just calls for CA glue. Um, this is my choice to use Elmer's glue. I just kind of push forward to kind of hold it there. I'll lock them both down. I'll double check my 61 millimeter. We're good. So now I'll go ahead and I'll lock this one down. That's solid, that's solid. I'll just double check this one. Now you don't want to over tighten these. You want to let the glue do its work. Now as you notice, the uh, spline is forward toward the, uh, toward the helicopter frame. 